Hello YouTube and welcome to another Tax Laws video. It's time for another comparison. We got the Google Nexus 5 against the Google Nexus 4. So the old flagship from Google against the new one. Uh, where do you want to start? Let's start from the outside. First thing you notice is the screen size. We got 4.7 inch against 5 inch and uh, but it's not that bigger it's a little bit l more in length a little bit wider tiny little bit wider uh, but therefore also a little bit thinner um, take it in your hands and you will notice on paper the Nexus 4 is 9 gram heavier will you notice this no but what you will notice is a different feeling in your hands. This is not because of the screen size. If you're used to big smartphones, you won't have a problem with either of the devices. But you will notice that we got here the in the white version of the Nexus 5, we got a glossy frame. In the black version, we got a matte frame. And the backside is plastic. It feels a little bit rubbery-like, um, but still, it's you can feel the plastic feeling, if you know what I mean. On the Nexus 4 you got this rubber frame and the glass backside. And if you take it in your hand, it definitely the Nexus 4 feels more val valuable than the Nexus 5. But this is as always a discussion if you like plastic or if you like glass or metal or aluminium. As always a, uh, discussions between Apple and iPhone and the Galaxy Nexus, uh, not uh, the Samsung Galaxy uh, series here. This is just a feeling. In my opinion, both devices feel good in your hand, but the Nexus 4 feels a little bit more comfortable and expensive maybe if you want to use this word. Um, then screens, the screen size and this is I can now tell you that the resolution has changed that we got on the old model we just got 1280 by 768 this are I guess 318 pixel per inch and on the new Nexus 5 we got full HD we got 1920 by 1080 and this gives us incredible 445 uh, ppi uh, pixel per inch and this will, won't tell you anything but believe me when i tell you if you compare these next to each other the nexus 5 looks definitely way 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 sharper this is definitely the advantage this is a clear winner here in display technology it's just a pleasure reading letters picture uh, watching movies or uh, no actually the pleasure is reading this is really something you notice in the in the blink of a second and uh, contrast colors both devices looks look nice a viewing angle definitely the same brightness maybe the nexus 5 is here and there a little bit brighter on the same settings as the nexus 4 but no differences but the resolution definitely clear winner and uh, give you gives the advantage to the nexus 5 is definitely the screen um as a resolution and now youtube i already tested this with in the, on the german channel so let's just take a video here this one for example and uh no we don't now we get ads of course go 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 and skip it and skip it pause and pause and now we start by putting the Nexus 4 to 100% and the Nexus 5 and we start with 100% speakers on the back side and then we go down to 80% How's it going everyone? This is Tom and today I'm back with another... So, and we do the same with the Nexus 5 the speaker is on the bottom we just only got one there's no stereo speakers here's the speaker there's a microphone And 80%. How's it going, everyone? This is Tom, and today I'm back with another comparison video. So, what did I want to uh, want you to show that with this? Um, it's not really not easy to hear, but uh, believe me when I say the Nexus 5 is a winner in the speaker comparison. So it's on 100%. The Nexus 5 speaker is louder than the Nexus 4, 
and it's not that kind of crispy noises is if you have your device on 100%. This is the reason why it turns them down to 80% after this because this is a normal hearing volume and even there the Nexus 5 is still louder, more volume, it's clearer and it feels feels sounds better, definitely better. So next winner here Nexus 5. Uh, let's sit over to cameras. Uh, both got the same camera menu, both got photosphere and all the stuff. Both devices got an 8 megapixel camera which records 1080p videos on the backside. Uh, pictures and videos are definitely better with the Nexus 5. Front facing camera, both devices got an 1.3 megapixel camera which records 720p. Both devices clear winner the Nexus 5 definitely makes the better videos and photos. So, performance. Both devices got 2 gigs of RAM, uh, Snapdragon S400, uh, S4 Pro and the new Snapdragon 800, both quad-core. Both got a good GPU unit on it, the Nexus 4 a little bit better, um, but in overall performance not um, you won't notice it that much. Both devices are fast, they are fluent, they are they are rotating touch screens, really nice performance on both devices here. Let's me zoom in. Uh, I wouldn't can't declare a winner here. It's a tie, definitely a tie. Screen reaction and performance. On the paper the Nexus 4 or 5 is the winner, but in normal day usage you won't notice a difference. Um, this was that. We got outside, we got screens, we got speakers, we got cameras, we got performance, uh, battery. We got haven't talked about the battery. Battery was always an issue, issue on the Nexus 4. Uh, in my opinion, after 4.3 or with the 4.3 Jelly Bean update, battery performance went up. Definitely better on the Nexus 4, but still no match for the Nexus 5. Uh, after daily, after a normal day of daily usage, the Nexus 4 got at least 15-20% more left in the battery than the Nexus 4. My hardcore test is always playing ingress, tracking my steps, hearing music and keeping the display activated. Uh, the Nexus 4 which powered down after around two hours you get a half hour more from the Nexus 5. So let's talk about price because often people are selling yes the Nexus 5 has uh, got, uh, got, got more expensive than the Nexus 4. This is not really true. Okay the Nexus 4 started by with 299 euros a year ago in the 8 gigabyte version and the Nexus 5 starts now at 349 um, euros in the 16 gigabyte version and this is the difference. There was also a 16 gigabyte version of the Nexus 4 for the exact same price as the Nexus 5 today. Uh, talk is starting at 349 euros. So not really a price differences but when I think about it this is a nice really nice update that LG and Google has brought us here. We got the larger screen, we got the great resolution, we got better speakers, we got better cameras, we got a better battery life and this is all you want from one year of smartphone evolution and this for the same price. So this is a really nice update. Now which one should you buy? The problem is you can't buy the Nexus 4 anymore directly from Google because uh, Google is not selling them anymore. You can get used one 8 gigabyte versions for 200 euros on eBay. Let's say you want you have the chance to get a new one or a slightly new used Nexus 4 for the 16 gigabyte version for 249 euros and then you are asking yourself is 100 euros more uh, for the Nexus 5 worth it? In my opinion yes. At least oh, at least for the for the screen resolution it's it's totally worth your money. Speakers okay and cameras again they are really worth your money. Then if you want to use LTE 4G no chance on the Nexus 4, you have to go with the Nexus 5. Uh, if you don't want to spend much money 
The Nexus 4 is still a good deal. It will still get software updates over and over, even though Google is only promising software updates for 18 months. If you compare the hardware, two gigs of RAM, both got the dual core uh, CPU, both got a perform good, per well performing GPU unit. I don't know why the Nexus 4 shouldn't get the same updates as the Nexus 4. And even if it don't, um, then there's a great. Um, um, bum, bum, modder scene. There are a lot of programmers out there that will make sure that you can get the newest update by yourself. Um, okay, this is it. So if you just want to spend 200, 250 bucks, the Nexus 4, 4 is definitely a great phone. If you can spend more money and you want, uh, then do it. Go for the Nexus 5. So this was my comparison video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye!